the um, the buildings and the streets, freeways, all these kind of elements, the urban elements that I've been using yeah. as a symbol or, or expression of my work. I've been using most of the um, landscape around in LA, like the, the mountains in San Gabriel Mountains. I've been inspiring that to adapt in, into the uh, city. The most I use it as a base in the, in the, in the background sometimes. Yes. And when I paint uh, the freeways, I think it's the veins and the arterias of the, you know, of the urban landscape. And that's why I, I, I use it as a very organic form to express myself. And this is the first thing I, I, I have when I come to the United States. doing because to recreate the past into the present that was the idea to have a what exactly was at that time till now and uh, where you can see this is a, it was used to be a beauty shop well I always like to integrate elements but this was a great idea of the friends of water village mm. that they uh, put together the pictures and they uh, facilitated me yeah. The, the, the way of the, uh, the, the bench, for example, uh -huh. that's a really great concept to integrate into the mural. Uh -huh. Then that's, I like this kind of effects because you, you feel that you are part of the mural sure. at the same time. It's kind of illusion effects. Yeah. And I, always in my work, I put in elements, you know, symbols, yeah. and signals of the, of the city to be integrated. The freeway is just as, as, as um, I started when I want to become a little more uh, cos cosmopolitan in my, my work, you know, trying to represent because that city affect me in some ways. That's that's why I, I had to really do it and uh, and express that, is, you know, into the exterior. This is the Red River Park. Red River Park. Yeah, and uh, the the idea was to really recreate yeah. that, that time of the of the um, the red car used to pass in this, coming from Glendale all the way to downtown uh -huh. LA. That's why, and, and also they wanted to put some of the navy, uh, you know, animals from the area. They yeah. they, they really uh, live on the river. Okay. Uh huh. It's kind of like a, 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 a ecology awareness, you know, just to preserve some of the, uh, the wildlife in this in this area. Yeah. This this building, well, well really is the, this uh, support is exactly the basis yeah. where the, the 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 red car used to pass. Yeah, they it's exactly the same, and then that we use this as. Um, expressing the image in, in that sand base. This, is the fi this figure is a symbol here in the, in, in the, in the LA River because it's, 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 it lives here, it lives in the area. Yeah. Uh -huh. Out, out, out. We did a, a collage also including the uh, Different train coming from the uh, from the north to the south. Uh, this is this is the and, and this section is in the, on the right side is when the uh, the Taylor yard started and then, and the composition is about the bandy camp. It's a building at uh, the time that is existing right now. It's in a, in one of the buildings of the uh, preservation of the uh, Los Angeles landmark. The whole composition is the idea to, to, to create uh, a historical moment of the uh, train shaping history. And to me, it was a legacy that we had to put layer upon layer and all this emotion that we feel and love into 
where we our surroundings. And so we just started and imagining, well, what? Well, all of a sudden, I'm Italian. I want grapes around the house. I want grapes around the house. And Raphael came. And then I wanted the hummingbirds, because yeah. that's my favorite bird. And I love the little ladybugs and all of it. And he, he did it all the way around the house. And then we had this inspiration. I love these two trees here. And I said, Raphael, wouldn't that be magnificent to have those two trees uh -huh. and a bunch of shrubbery and flowers on this bare wall here? Even though the, the neighbors get the benefit of it. But anyway, so we started on that. And it was almost like an extension of the wholeness that made this house. Well, this mural started with the an interior design in the kitchen. This idea of um, Julie and Rick to put some uh, um, to scan a landscape. Um, mural is being, this mural is being uh, working with the acrylic, acrylic te technique, and it's, uh, the media also has uh, some kind of special varnish. Mm -hmm. The the um, the ornament of the of the, the house uh, apply, yeah. you know, to protect and to give it the an antiquing, the aging color or the, the effects on the mural. And so he did and it's down to the detail. If you look at the sun in a certain time of day, you'll see the, a shiny thing going around the house yeah. and it's our copper gutters. He painted it so we could, it was just exactly like our home. And everything we've done is like that. You know, you get up in the morning, you open your eyes and you see clouds on the ceiling, you know? And we feel, we are filled with gratitude to have Raphael not only as a very dear friend, mm -hmm. but one that can listen to me mm -hmm. and literally he can feel what I want, what I'm feeling and he puts it out. And I think that's what makes our house special, all of the layers that, it's taken 10 years. LA for me is a big freeway because it got all these venues. Yeah. Oh, it's a uh, multicultural. That's why I I, I think it's a, a a way to to do it. It's, yeah. it's always in movement. 